Hey, what's up? Obviously, we are not at the auto show right now, but we do have a ton of auto show footage. I'm on a bridge over the main river right here in Frankfurt. That is the city of Frankfurt behind me. And don't worry, we got a lot of cool stuff that we didn't show you the past two days. We're gonna hit up Lamborghini. We got rapid fire auto show news. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, I can't really do the sounds here. Anyway, I'm Derek D. This is Fast Lane Daily, our final day at the Frankfurt Motor Show. Hope you enjoyed it. We really enjoyed it, right guys? Yeah, that's right. Had a blast. Watch it, just roll it. It's gonna pour. Audi's all about the green. They got the uh, Audi A3 e-tron over there. You got the diesel A3 here. And you got the G-tron A3 right here, which runs on natural gas. But you know how I know they're really into the green? Boom. Upside down trees inside the building. Oh, they're not fake. They're real. And there's a mirror, so it almost looks like they're standing up straight as well. You see that? Yeah. But the funny thing is, after the show, they're all gonna be dead. So, <laughs> it's green. Audi also dropped the top on this little gem, literally. It's the Cabrio version of the A3, 296 horsepower, 1.8 liter turbo, and that'll be available late next year. But also, Audi loves its Quattro on the rocks. Yes, that's nice. Ooh, you're as cold as ice. Quattro. So Nissan has this, it's a design concept, and it's called the, uh, the Friend Me. It's a, the Friend Me is what's, what it's called. Would you friend me on Facebook or something? No, see that's a, it's an immediate denial right there, but uh, no, I know that I was, but it's called the Friend Me, so uh, I guess this car loves Facebook, I don't know. And over here at Infinity, we have the Q30 hatch, which is a concept, of course. Set for production in 2015, if it goes to production. Set for, quote, young buyers. It's gonna battle small hatchbacks, small crossovers alike. And it rides on the MFA Mercedes platform, which is the same as the A-Class. But if it's for young buyers, it's probably gonna be pretty expensive, so. Yeah. Kinda looks like the Mazda 3 to me. I'd go with the Mazda 3 instead. Wow, this Oh, what's going on here? I don't even know what you're saying, but this is crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, I thought you were speaking like a, like an alien language. Yes, queen, my queen. <laughs> oh, then I won't hit on her. I promise. <laughs> what the? Fuck? Check it out right here. The Volvo Concept C. C stands for coupe, but I am in Europe, so I should say coupe. It's reminiscent of the P1800 coupe back in the 1960s before I was even a thought. Anyway, there's uh, three engines in this. You got a turbocharged, a supercharged, an electric engine pumping out 400 horsepower. It's a plug-in hybrid. And if you notice, the side mirrors are actually real mirrors. They're not those slim little pieces of plastic that are like, hey, this is never gonna make it to production side mirrors. So hey, if that's any inclination, maybe it'll go to production. That'd be cool. I like it. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. All right, so we were looking for an STI over here at the Subaru booth because uh, Erica's a big fan, and obviously she didn't come with us to the Frankfurt Motor Show, so we found this instead, Subaru WRX Concept. Erica, we'll bring it back for you. I'm just kidding, that's not gonna happen. Okay. All right, so we talked about the Alfa Romeo 4C a gazillion times on the show. Here it is in person, and it looks just as sexy as the chick standing next to it. Although well, you should have seen the one before. But anyway, 240 horsepower, and uh, I mean, I don't know how many details I gotta go into it. It's just great to see it actually in person. And please bring it to the United States sooner than later. 
all this talk about it's coming to the United States, actually finally bring it. I want a date, I want a year, I want to know right now. Hopefully 2014. Ah, Civic Tour, it's nice. Do you like it? Good. Are you watching from America? Bad, because you're not gonna get it there. Just letting you know, sorry to burst your bubble. The new Golf R, 296 horsepower, two liter turbo four banger in it. It's available right now, it's got a quad exhaust, zero to 60 at 4.9 seconds. Am I too far away? You guys, you know what I'm thinking. It is Friday, right? You know what that means. Rap Fire Auto Show! You ready, Max? You ready, let's go. All right, giddy up now to 80 horsepower, because giddy up and go is going to get you 100 miles on a full charge with the 80 horsepower all-electric engine. Ugh. All right, right here we got the VW E-Golf. 114 horsepower engine, 180 miles on a full charge. Awesome. The El Mirage. They debuted at Pebble Beach. We talked a ton about it already. Just want to let you guys know that in person it looks just as beautiful as the chick on the other side of it. Yeah. So, BMW didn't bring the M4 here, but it did bring the M6 Coupe. It's up there. It's about 15 feet high. You can't open the door. You can't touch it. I don't know what to do. Ah, I'm sad. It's the Acura NSX Concept. We've seen it before. No big deal, right? Check that Honda NSX Concept. Oh, hey. Rapid Sport, huh? It's nice. All right. Bye. All right, right here we got the Lamborghini Squadra Corsa. Apparently it's the last version of the Gallardo. Last version, there's been like 47 last ones. Anyway, 5.2 liter, 10 cylinder engine this, 562 horsepower, 50th anniversary edition, that's your rapid fire auto show. That will just about do it. We got some good stuff, guys. Oh, yeah. Solid three days at the Frankfurt Motor Show, the IAA show. I'm on that same bridge over the main river. The sky right there doesn't look like it does over there. So we got a flight to catch. We're heading back to the US. Hope you enjoyed our coverage from the Frankfurt Motor Show. I'm Derek D. This is Fast Lane Daily. We will see you guys on Monday back in the US. All right, we should probably get out of here before it pours, guys. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, cool. We'll talk to you guys on Monday. Fastlane Daily, day two at the Frankfurt Motor Show. Shot. Today on Fast Lane Daily, we're uh, hocking loogies on <laughs> I'll give you a Saudi line anyway. I'll give you this $35. You'll throw in, uh, throw in my uncle's uh, pasta fajou. We're good to go. All right. Come on in here, Max. I got to tell you something. You see that spring? That mechanism right there is brand new. No one's ever seen that. You know why I noticed? Because this is a 14,600 cubic inch valve, 96 power. And what it's going to do is send you down the road three seconds. You're going zero to 420 miles per hour. All right. Derek T, if I had all the money in the world, you know what I'd get you for Christmas? What? I'd get you a Subaru. Oh, come on, AK. You gotta be kidding me. That was not my intent. I had that name first. 
You know, like when you go to the doctor and you get surgery and you get a straight line scar after having surgery? Well, my idea was to have a radical sports scar, like a cool looking scar. That was going to be the name. Yes. Hey, I'm going to have to go to LegalZoom.com and get a new one. Hey, how about it? I'm going to tell the wife this.